first of all what I can do go and grab my lens corrections and remove the chromatic aberration if there are any and the lens corrections and then once I've done with that I have to on the histogram if you watch the histogram now and try to kind of line them up let's see it's it looks pretty good to me yeah overall I think it's pretty good so what I can do now uh, I go to straighten up a bit and if it's not does the great job then what can you do is grab your angle tool and click and pull it to the other side on on the horizon and release it I think it's done a pretty good job and after that once I have a white balance done I'm usually I'm usually go and hit auto now I don't say that the image is done here but it's give me a nice starting point where I can start editing my image and so what I can do now is check in the highlights and the shadows so where is clipping where is not clipping and the whites see if I if I check that then it's clipping then I pull it back until the black is uh, back to white again so I'm just gonna reduce the vibrance and saturation for now I don't need a color now um, what I'm gonna do now I think um, grab my graduated filter and I'm gonna work on the sky in a bit just check the overlay so let's start working on the sky so probably I'm just gonna bring down the exposure a bit highlights and give a little bit of color magenta and I think I'm gonna pull it to blues and I think it looks pretty good little bit of exposure down and if I go to the luminance mask range and I can see the red where what is covering my subject so I don't really want that so I, there's a range slider I can shift it just not hitting my subject is only affecting my sky which is exactly what I want here and then once I've done so I'm just grab my local adjustment brush and I think I'm gonna pull up the highlights and an exposure a bit and shadows and then start to painting on my subject because it just helps the composition and the viewer eyes to you know look at on my subject just bring up the details in the water and on the rocks and I think I'm gonna uh, grab a new one double click on the effect and it's gonna zero everything down so I can start again I think this time highlights and white uh, 
maybe a bit of exposure just a hint there where the white water there and just bring up a little bit of details and what else I can do let's go with the toon curve let's uh, see what we can do with that so you can bring your image more to life with these sliders um, so this is not exactly the same highlights and lights as on the basic panel this is is more like really fine adjustments so uh, you can see on the image So once I've done with every panel, let's see what I can do with the calibration. So I go to the shadow tint and play, you can play around with this. Usually I try and what I can, maybe I can make it better on the overall image in the shadows. Just have a look on different colors such as blue, green, red, uh, the primary, uh, you know, colors, and then you can saturate them, desaturate them, get different, let's say the, the, the blue is uh, darker or brighter, and it's exactly the same with other colors. So you can play around and you can get different results so I think I'm done with this image now let's see a before and after let's see these colors so I'll just show you play around with the sliders what's the difference are I'm just gonna zero them now so yeah feel free to play around with that and then the result i promise is gonna be much better so let's see a full screen look pretty good i really like the the colors and on the water and in the sky and after all edit my done I usually play around with different composition and cropping so usually I go with my images uh, 16 by 9 just give you a full size image on the screen which I like play around with uh, different crops and you can see uh, what composition work uh, with your current image I think I'm gonna choose this time uh, one by one uh, which is a square image my subject is absolutely fit on the rule of third on the top corner so uh, I think uh, yeah I'm gonna stay stick with this and let's see some before and after where we were and where we are now I think it's pretty good so even even when you when you're on uh, on the location and you've got no promising lights for sunset which was in this case 
uh, on my experience there still you can bring up some colors and make it a little bit much better than the raw file and I'm just wanna show you the difference between the water uh, on the before image is so it's too blue but on another one is uh, is more realistic because as I remember it was more like on the edited image rather than the before one so that's the full image with uh, a white border which I really like adding on later in Photoshop I think that's it for today thanks for watching